We are getting closer the first ever up close view of Pluto. A piano sized spacecraft named New Horizons will speed past the icy dwarf planet Tuesday, sending back detailed pictures. Here's Meg Oliver. If you think this picture of Pluto's snap Saturday is jaw dropping, scientists say you haven't seen anything yet. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. And we're not going to see anything like this again, I don't think, in our lives. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft will zip by Pluto at 7.50 a.m. Eastern Tuesday for the closest pictures to date. The flyby takes place 7,800 miles away from Pluto. Nobody has any idea what the spacecraft's going to show them. You know, the pictures on the way in have really been exciting. A ten, nine. It's a mission nine and a half years in the making. New Horizons launched in 2006, leaving Earth at 36,000 miles an hour. It has traveled nearly a million miles a day for close to a decade. When it gets to Pluto to make all the science work, it has to fly through an imaginary box 60 miles by 90 miles on a side, and it has to hit that within 100 seconds. And that's after a trip spanning 3 billion miles in nine and a half years. Uh, if that isn't threading a cosmic needle, what is? It's hard to grasp traveling 3 billion miles. To put it in perspective, imagine the sun the size of a quarter. Placed on the goal line of a football field, Earth would be three yards away. Pluto would stretch 18 yards beyond the far goal line. Tom Kermiges has been on the front lines for NASA since 1965. Reaching the solar system's coldest destination will be an historic feat. Adrenaline is, is really running high, and, and uh, as soon as they see a new set of data and it goes up on the screen, you know, they burst into applause and uh, high fives and everything else. The journey is remarkable for another reason. There's an astronaut on board, the ashes of the late Clyde Tombaugh, who wanted this mission more than anyone. He discovered Pluto in 1930. His ashes are on board this mission. How special is that? He's going to be the first human being to ever leave the solar system. What a fitting tribute for the man who, who, whose hard work and diligence paid off in the discovery of Pluto. The cameras on board the New Horizon are so precise. If it was flying over New York City at the same altitude from space, you'd be able to make out these softball fields in Central Park. They're hoping to capture amazing surface details like that on Tuesday. Jeff? Meg, thank you very much.